So the disclosure was handled by Rapid7. Todd Beersley is the guy, is the go-to guy for any uh, security-related uh, coordinated disclosure. And we had granted them 60 days time uh, before you know we go for the full disclosures. Um, it's very difficult to basically translate uh, a technical POC into business language, but this specific vulnerability that uh, you know was found in Apple, um, what it was doing that once you click on the link, it would load uh, you know Bing.com or any the domain that you would spoof on a non-existent port. So when the Safari loads a page on um, you know non-existent port it basically preserves the URL. Now, what the code is doing is it is refreshing, um, you know, back to bing.com 8080 every two milliseconds. So the user is unable to see the switch. Um, and at, at the address bar, the user is looking at bing.com, whereas the content is not hosted on bing.com. The content is hosted on the attacker's website. So the severity is uh, basically given on different factors such as uh, real-world exploitability and so as per research by Zscaler in April 2020, attackers were using keywords such as Wuhan, vaccine and COVID related keyword to target people and especially remote workers. Since that 60 days time was elapsed, we had to you know make things public. So we wrote a blog post and you know, um, the message that we wanted to give to the community is that the 90 days time frame for, for fixing your vulnerabilities is quite a lot and quite tiring. Um, and I, I believe that, you know, the issue of uh, such complexity can be handled in, you know, uh, less than 60 days. Uh, but however, I do get the point that, you know, they have to prioritize the vulnerabilities on the basis of the criticality. So obviously they would be more interested in fixing uh, critical bugs and you know before they start fixing issues like uh, the spoofing issues but you know considering situation like COVID whereby somebody could find such vulnerabilities and start exploiting it and it could lead to you know devastating impact on users I believe that you know issues uh, such issue, issues should be more prioritized. So mitigation for phishing is um, more of a dual responsibility. So browsers such as uh, Google uh, Chrome, Firefox, uh, and uh, Microsoft's Edge browser, they are doing a pretty good job because they have a lot of resources and, you know, they put in a lot of money in their bug bounty programs. They go to different on-to-on -on contests. Um, however, you know, there are other browsers, um, you know, with large user base, um, where, whereas they do not have even have uh, an email where you can report security-related issues. So um, I think it's a shared responsibility. Um, organization has to take responsibility to educate the employees. Uh, the governments around the world should take responsibilities. You know, all the governments around the world should take the responsibility of promoting uh, cybersecurity. And um, you know, good companies should come up with more and more um, stringent, uh, you know, um, policies uh, for for remote um, for remote remote workers.